go for a ride. <laughs> I'm going to live stream on my break. Oh, so driving home. I got some packages and I want to put them inside. And I don't really have to, but I want to stream. I want to test the stream, test the camera. Hello. How's your dog doing, Ashley? So I just want to see how the quality of the stream works and everything, and then I'm going to upload it onto YouTube. This might be something that I'll do more frequently. Because this phone's going to be way better at it. My other phone's just getting old. It's a piece of crap. It's slow. The battery is dying. Messed up. good he's doing good yeah. can't believe I read in the news that some lady fell out of her vehicle while she was trying to record a video on snapchat on like a busy highway it's weird but it happened so I had a crazy day it's not really too crazy but I was supposed to get my internet upgraded and I did eventually, but the guy was supposed to come between like 8 in the morning to noon, and at like 10 o'clock or something, I noticed my internet went out, so I figured he was working on it. And he called me, and he's like, I've got good news and bad news, and the good news is that I used your uh, existing equipment, and I got your speed higher, so you don't have to upgrade. And the bad news is that I can't upgrade because they didn't do the paperwork right or whatever, and they asked me, do I still want to upgrade? And if I did, I was going to have to contact the people. And I was like, yeah, I still want that. And so I had to go through this long process on the phone. Everything was already supposed to be settled and done. And I was worrying that it wasn't even going to get done today, but it did, just in the nick of time. But when I called the people, they put me on hold like ten times. Like, are you still there, sir? Like, okay, please hold. Are you still there? Please hold. Oh my god. Anyway. It's kind of warm in here. I don't know if the air will sound, sound too much. But it's got to be better than we roll on the windows now. It's just a little bit warm today. It's been cooling off. Pretty beautiful outside. So what are your plans today, Ashley? Now I'm kind of a loss for words. I didn't really expect an audience. But yeah, I want to live stream more. Think about some different topics to talk about. And I know recording up and down like this is not really good. But if I do it sideways at the angle that it's at, it gets my steering wheel in the way. So I'm going to have to figure out where I can put it, how I can mount it, get a better view. And you know what? The sun's kind of right in my eyes. So that's what this is for. Oh, glad that my vehicle's finally driving all right. yesterday, like the brakes weren't sticking, but the steering wheel was a little shaky, but today I'm not really experiencing that. I know I need to shave really bad, I need a haircut, I'm supposed to be getting a haircut on Thursday. So I want to get everything all cleaned up on Thursday and all ready to go. And I think that I'm going to rearrange my living room and my bedroom for when I record. It's going to look different and better. Make things a little easier. Tonight when I get home, I really want to try to hook up the Ethernet cable straight into my PS4 from my router and see. I'm going to try to stream at a high quality again, see how that works. But, yeah, when he, when he finally hooked up 
everything. He came up and he told me to get out my phone. He was like, get your phone. I was like, huh? He's like, get your phone. And so finally I realized he meant like get my phone out of my pocket. And I was like, why should I get my phone? Well, he told me to get on the browser and then enter these numbers and showed me all the data about he was trying to call me. I don't know who the hell was trying to call me, but whatever. Anyway, this guy that hooked up the internet, he told me I have like two different lines now, and so like if the internet goes down somewhere, like I, I can still have an extra line keeping it up, so that's good. I see that you say you don't have any plans today, Ashley. I really don't have any plans either. My plan work. Oh, and I can't wait for work to be over today. I want work to be over tomorrow. I need a day off again. My day off is probably going to be busy. Got things to do in the morning. Got to clean up a bunch of brush and stuff that I've been trying to do for like the last three weeks, but something's always happening. Either taking my vehicle to the mechanic or it rained or whatever. But I think this Thursday it's going to get done, I hope. I hope. I'm going to go get a haircut, do some shopping and all that crap. Come back home. I try to rearrange and set things up for future recordings. But I'm looking forward to playing Death Stranding later. That's what I want to do tonight. But we'll see. I'm just so glad that tomorrow I can sleep in. I can sleep in right up until I have to leave for work. None of us waking up early for anything crap. So, freaking highway's a little busy, somebody in front of me, somebody behind me, they need to go away! If we crash, it's going to be their fault, not because of me. At least I have my phone mounted. There's some YouTubers that hold their phone while they're driving, it's completely ignorant. But I really kind of need to get a new phone plan because it's not as good as it used to be and the phone could like slip out or something. And then I'll try to reach for it and that's when I'll hit a sit line. Ah! Uh, How many people think about hitting a semi when you drive by one? It's always my thought whenever I see a semi. What if I just went a couple of centimeters to the left? My life would be over. Or I would be severely damaged, like paralyzed probably for the rest of my life, if I made I would probably wish that I know. <laughs> no, it's pretty messed up. I know, I've read about people that hit semis and yeah, they died. That's about it, so. That was about all it took was one semi. Going about 60. Oh my goodness! But what I have arrived today is a poster at least. Maybe a couple of posters. Maybe a poster and a game, maybe a couple of posters and a game. I just got like 50 notifications from my security camera. My apartments have so much traffic going in and out. It's insane. I get like 300 plus videos captured a day going in and out. Which is fine, that's how they live their life. It's a little annoying to me, but... I mean, people have to leave the apartments for work, shopping, or whatever. There are some people, though, I swear, they're just in and out just for the purpose of being in and out constantly. You like that stranding, Ashley, huh? Well, I know that you like Destiny, too. I like Death Stranding a lot. It's hard to understand, but it's worth it when you try. And I can't wait till I get a strategy guide. that it said it wasn't going to come until like a week. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's addicting. And I feel like if I beat it, 
soon. I'm going to want to replay it. But I also really love Shinmu 3, and I want to play through that too. What's up, Blake? Haven't talked to you in a long time in person. Miss hanging out, but I know that you're still drumming. I don't even have a place to drum, but in the future, I will get a drum set again. And I'll make some recordings. Really, I mean, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe in the next year, I might want to try to move into a house. Maybe I can do it then, but it sucks. It's kind of a problem for drummers. I mean, you can get like an electronic drum set and play relatively quiet, but an acoustic drum set, no way. But like guitars and keyboard players, whatever else, like they can pretty much do their instruments in silence. You know, pretty quiet. But it's not really a quiet way to play drums. And they take up a lot of space. Yeah. Love Death Stranding, but there's so many other games that I'm going to stream that are really cool too. I haven't touched God of War much, or Spider-Man, I've got Concrete Genie, I want to of those. But uh, Days Gone, I always thought that was kind of an interesting game. two cars in front of me, like right in front of me, like, I wish they weren't. It'd be nicer if they were behind me. They're keeping my speed at about 50 when I should be going about 60. <laughs> now we're getting up there. So yeah, I might do some of these and talk about wrestling or something. I feel like I haven't talked about wrestling a lot on my YouTube channel. My plan is if the stream gets uploaded good, but I'm going to download it and I'm going to re-upload it onto YouTube. So I'll be doing this for Facebook and for YouTube. But yeah, it's a lot of movies that I want to talk about. I'm letting a co-worker at, at work borrow Halloween 2019. Said that she loves Michael Myers, but she hasn't seen it says she heard that it was bad, and originally that's what I thought. I think a lot of people said it was just kind of boring or used a lot of the same kills in the previous movies. Like, somebody gets killed in the bathroom stall. Stuff like that, but I think it's a pretty good movie. And it's really modern, so it looks really nice. Like, the quality of the video and the sound's really nice. I got it on Blu-ray. And uh, there's some really nasty scenes in there. There's a scene where a guy gets his head crushed. Michael Myers just stomps on his head and it just smashes like a watermelon. <laughs> and it shows you the whole thing. It's like, ah. Oh. It's like, man, Michael Myers must be like superhuman strength. Like, there's no way. <coughs> but there's a lot of good scenes in there. And of course, it has Jamie Lee Curtis. And it's like a sequel to the original Halloween, which was directed by John Carpenter, is just an amazing director. And I struggle to think of some of the movies that he made. I know that I've got Starman, but I wonder if he made Christine, I don't remember. Now Halloween was definitely one of his huge ones. I know he made like a solo of Precinct 13 or... And he made a lot, but I get him and Wes Craven mixed up a lot too, because Wes Craven did The Nightmare on Elm Street, and he did a ton of good movies. But the person that made the original Friday the 13th, I don't really know a whole lot about... Uh, I don't even know who did it, I don't know his name right off the top of my head. But I don't think that he has like a movie library like Wes Craven or John Carpenter. But I do consider Jason Voorhees to be 
probably the best slasher out of those, Freddy and Michael Myers. Michael Myers is pretty equal. Freddy is on the lower side. He's funny and different. It's very surreal. So it's kind of weird that I wouldn't really put him up there as my favorite. But I mean, Jason's Jason. He's unstoppable. So, just talk about a little bit about everything. I'm almost getting to my town. I'm doing this all on my lunch break at work. It's kind of nice to have an hour lunch break. Sometimes I just want to sit in the vehicle and rest. Sometimes I drive home. Driving home to test the stream, but also just to feel like time's going by faster and to keep myself busier because today, you know, I woke up earlier than I would have wanted to. I dealt with some stress and then I went into work. I just wanted the work day to be over with. And let's just make the break go by quick. Let's make the rest of the shift go by quick and let's be done. I might stream on the way home too. I guess it would be dark though if I did that. So I don't know if there's really a lot of topics to talk about today that I had in mind really. I just wanted to bitch about internet this morning, but I mean, things are really going pretty smooth, actually, I got my phone last night, and I got it activated pretty easily, uh, and I had to go through some stress with the internet, but I got it, now we're going to have to see if it's really good enough, so I checked into some other internet companies around here, we got Cascom, and their basic package is so my internet is supposed to be upgraded to 18 megabits, megabytes or whatever, so it's not really great. I had 12 and I'm supposed to go up to 18. There's people that have like 100 megabytes, 200. Um, but mine can be over 18. Uh, like the last time I checked it when I left and it was like at 21. I've heard that 24 or 25 is pretty darn fast. So Cascon, they offer like their bare minimum is like 25. It's around the same price of what I'm paying. But I was like, I don't know if that's really worth switching. And then they have... You're here to what? You're here to listen. Well, thank you, actually. I appreciate that. It's kind of nice knowing that somebody's actually out there. But then the Cascom, it went up from 25 megabytes to whatever, and then like the next price range was like 75. And I thought, well, they offer cable TV too, so I thought, well, maybe, you know, it would be worth the extra money if I got a little higher speed internet and I got cable. I could watch live wrestling easily. That would pretty much be the only reason I'd really want cable. But they were like, no, that with cable and the basic internet is going to be like over $100. And I'm just like, uh... I don't think that's really going to benefit me right now. I still want to keep things cheap. I want to upgrade, but... So right now I'm at my mailbox. Let's see if I got the name. Good old mailbox. Absolutely nothing. Now I know there was some packages dropped off at my door because I saw it with my security phone. So, also I wanted to drink some soda when I came home. Maybe snack on something. So I'm going to keep it streaming and you can see my uh, Grim Reaper at the stairs. We're going to show everything here. Yeah, it's not Comcast, it's a uh, Cascom. I might have said Comcast, but
Oh. poster container that's bigger than any one that I've had before crazy okay it's not too much in my fridge it's not too appealing really I need to throw out all this stuff but the soda's still good so it's 552 So what have you been doing today, Ashley? Potty training your dog still? Man, I do have some cookies. I don't really have time to cook anything, to eat anything, really. There ain't nothing in here. Spam. Might save that for later. Mmm, spam. <laughs> With some honey. Eat some of these hot burritos. I need to clean the counter, and it's just so much stuff that I need to do here. I think I'll be eating spam tonight. Maybe some ramen. Does your dog bark at all? mess. Mm. Let's check the internet speed again. Let's see what it says now. Oh man. It's going outside to potty. <laughs> Your dog's so cute. Why is it saying the download is nine point five six megabytes? That would be way less than what it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh my goodness, what in the world, man? Something... I don't know. When people walk through the hallway, your dog barks. It's gonna be a nuisance to the people in the apartments, huh? I don't know if I trust this checker, or any of these checkers. I mean, I know that speeds fluctuate and stuff too. Oh, let's try this other one that I had here. It's probably not... Maybe it's because the phone's kinda... taking it up too, I don't know. Woof woof. We'll see that says it's higher. Let's just go with whatever one says that it's good. <laughs> now people say that 24 or 25 is good for like a low average or whatever. I'm still only getting like 20, but I had like 12, so woof woof. Is there like a dog park there in Quincy close to you? Well, as long as it stays like 20, then I'm kind of satisfied with that. I mean, that's around where it should be. Oh my goodness. This is my GED certificate. I don't know if it has the year on it. Yeah, it does. 
2004. I'm gonna have to be going back. I'm gonna have to go back to hell. Try to eat some more of these hot chips. Hmm. Have you ever had these, Ashley? You like spicy stuff? <laughs> these are hot. Hmm. What sucks is that <laughs> mild spicy. What sucks is these things have a lot of chili powder on them. They get all over your fingers. My skin gets really dry. I need to use more lotion. I like taking showers with like really hot water. And it's bad for your skin. But my fingers crack and stuff, especially like in the winter. And uh, I ate these in the winter before, and like the chili powder gets in my cracked fingers, and it's like, ah. <laughs> Burns. Oh, this bread's still good. It's the date on this. Nine twenty-nine. Hmm, yeah, it's still good. Surprising. You know how many loads of bread I have to throw away just because I only eat like a couple of slices. Same thing with milk. My, uh, I keep getting alerts that my living room security camera is going off because I'm, I still have it on and I'm walking around right in front of it. Have you ever had one of these, Ashley? It's a non-alcoholic drink. Kind of tastes like beer. They sell them at Walmart. But it has caramel in it. it. Has kind of like a sweet taste. Oh, Those spicy chips burning my mouth. All right. Well, Look at these posters. There'll be a new poster later. Okay. Time to head back out. say that those chips are not mild spicy. 
Those things will set your tongue on fire. Basically got to go back and have about a half hour and a half of probably not doing shit. But I saved cleaning the floor, so I can at least spend about, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes on that. Got to sweep and mop. And make sure everything is stocked and good to go, which has been slow all day, so. Nobody's buying anything. Nobody's taking anything. There's no need to put anything back. That was a short break. Well, you got to account for the drive there and the drive back. It's an hour. I still got about like a 20 minute drive. But yeah, it goes by fast doing it like this. If I just sat and talked the whole time, it would probably seem a lot longer. But because I'm moving, moving and grooving here. It would be kind of cool to record the road or something too, but I don't know if, uh, I'm gonna have to get like some kind of a mount. I'll have to look for something like that, like some kind of suction thing. This mount, it's like hanging from uh, my vent, so. Which usually, I mean, I use this for like GPS basically. It works really great for that. It's not really for recording videos. shaking a little bit again. I don't like it when it shakes. You can probably tell that the phone shakes. Training your dog, training it to know its name. What was its name, Mr. Something? It started with an M, Mr. Miyagi, something like that. Yeah, shaking. It's not just the bumps in the road, it's, it's smoothed out a little bit now compared to what it was. I don't know how much of a delay it is with this live stream when I'm saying something and it's getting to you. Play 
play Destiny with you. somebody asked me if we had like plain yogurt in a smaller container because like all we had was this big size but it was only like a dollar something but he said that his dog was sick and that the yogurt would make it feel better but he said like if it was flavored yogurt that could make it more sick so this guy wanted some little plain yogurt for his dog but all we had was the bigger ones so had to get that. Had an elderly woman ask me where the chicken patties are. I think I had some other requests also. It's been very exciting. He lays in bed when you play Destiny. Aww. Does he bite? Well, I guess he's kind of like in the cone can't really bite. You'll have to record some video of your dog sometime.
about doing a stream like this is like when I end it, then Facebook should upload it. And I don't have to upload it like myself. So it's not like recording a video on the computer or something and then uploading it. And then, you know, I can't use the internet or I can't use the computer for a while because it's taken up all the bandwidth or whatever. This is like all on like Facebook's servers or whatnot. they didn't have any game stores around here so we had to drive like an hour to go to the mall to go to the game store and we would take like bags full of our old video games and we wanted to buy like new ones and uh, I think my cousin traded in so many games that he got like a new Sega Dreamcast and I was reading him like the box while he was driving or something and he wasn't paying attention he blew this intersection and they got pulled over and then the police officer was kind of irate because he said there had been like a fatality before at that intersection like you see that stop sign back there <laughs> and then I think my cousin like looked out the window and he's like like yeah I see it now <laughs> Good times. Today I found a pair of shorts that somebody didn't want to buy, so they left it like in the frozen meat bunker. It's like, what the hell is this? And I took it to the customer service desk, and they're like, where did you get this? And I was like, in the frozen meat bunker or whatever. I'm like, oh, I was just wondering because it was cold, like it's frozen. I'm like, yeah, no shit. People just drop stuff off everywhere. <laughs> uh, 
go. Came to a stop. Oh, it's green. Let's go. Uh, getting close. I can feel it. I can smell it. Walmart. Select few. 